How confident are you about how to deliver great recovery-oriented services to a young person? Okay, you might have it figured out. Some are really good at it, but you also might have questions. Good news, we have answers. We ask youth to tell us exactly what they think. What they told us was, well, something you can really relate to. Let's think out of the box for a minute. What if we were to think of providing recovery-oriented services to youth, like it's a server helping a customer in a nice restaurant? Imagine you sit down, and immediately the server puts a plate of grilled salmon in front of you. Uh, where's the menu? And what if seafood makes you swell up, stop breathing, and you know, die? Give us recovery options, and let us know what they are in advance. So your food is prepared and the server comes by and immediately drowns it in hot sauce. But wait, you hate spicy food. The server says, why do you mean everyone loves hot sauce? See, delicious. Don't make assumptions. Meet us where we are, physically, psychologically, culturally, and spiritually. So now you're eating. The server swings by and says rather curtly, Elbows off the table and use the proper fork. Sorry, I don't understand. Talk with us, not at us. And please don't judge us. Try to understand where we're coming from and the impact your opinion might have on us. Imagine you find a big fat fly in your salad. When you point it out to your server, he says, Oh, that? No, that's um our uh, chef's signature ingredient. Very high in protein. Come on, lies are easy to spot. Be honest, don't BS us. Be clear, direct, and use language we understand. After asking for a new salad, the server comes back from the kitchen and says, I'm sorry, the chef said no changes or substitutions. It's the restaurant's policy. <clears throat> Systematic barriers may prevent you from helping us as you would like. Be honest with us. Help us understand what these barriers are and let's work on them together. Or maybe you've been enjoying your meal, but your glass has been empty for like an hour. The server hasn't come by once to check. Hello? 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 Check-ins are important. Ask us if we're okay. Ask if there's anything more we need, if our needs have changed, or if there's any way you could be more helpful. Okay, say the server does come by to check on you. Perfect! because your meal is a little overcooked. My chicken is d divine. No, my chicken is delectable. What the fuck? fudge? I'll get you some immediately. Let us express ourselves in our own way and our own words. You're finished your meal. The server says, thanks for dining with us. I'm so sorry we'll never see you again. Uh, no, you say, I'll be back. Oh, so you're still hungry? The server asks. Not now, you say. But I'd like to think I can come back again if I am. Or could you suggest somewhere else I might like? Recovery is an ongoing process, not an end game. It's a journey, and even relapses might be part of that journey. So you see, you got this, you know this. A recovery-oriented approach to serving youth isn't some big millennial mystery. Some of you are already doing this really well but we hope this gave everyone some food for thought. Youth are diverse, so respect where they are coming from. Work together, listen to what youth are telling you, and offer options based on their needs. So what do you say? Hungry to make a difference?